Hey guys and gals, Nick Merrill here with Verisearch Software. Hey, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to take and create a uh, fixture that would hold a connecting rod for CMM inspection. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and import the data of the connecting rod from our reverse manager. So from reverse, let's go ahead and choose import cloud or mesh. This will open up the file explorer and we'll go ahead and select the connecting rod and hit open. Now this will just take a couple of seconds to import that mesh. Uh, once it's imported, it'll show up in our Verisearch database on the left, just as such. Now let's go ahead and choose Slice. Now we want to make sure that our slice position is set to zero. So if it's not already zero, go ahead and make it zero. We also want to slice along Z, so if that's not um, ticked, go ahead and tick it. Also, we want to apply a filter. Uh, 50 thousandths here is, is plenty sufficient for the profile of the connecting rod. Um, and we want to save the splines. That's good. And let's go ahead and hit Slice and close. Let's go ahead and uncheck the mesh from our database. From here, let's go ahead and go into our solids ribbon bar and we're going to choose block. We're going to go ahead and sketch where we want the um, block to actually hold the part. And then we'll go ahead and give it a little rotate here and drag down to define the, the depth. And here we'll go ahead and enter the thickness uh, of the block. So we'll go minus one inch. You can also go ahead and, and round up on the lengths and the, and the width of the block. So we'll say 4.375 and width of 3.0625 just to get everything nice and clean there. Perfect. Let's go back to a uh, top view. Here we're going to go wireframe line endpoints and just kind of just sketch past the, the solid block that you have sketched there. Perfect. Go to divide. And you're going to left mouse click and drag through the line into the connecting rod just like such keeping that section and then what we want to do is take and simplify this the, the spline on the right and left hand side now to do that we're going to choose refit spline and just pick those two and hit in selection go ahead and hit delete and choose ok from here go ahead and go to solids extrude We'll give this a little uh, rotate so we can see. We'll pick the chain, choose OK. Define the distance that you want here. If you know this is too deep, you can always go ahead and, and enter, enter a, a, a value that'll make that pocket a bit more shallow. OK, choose OK. Um, likewise, from here, if you wanted to take and, you know, for whatever reason, add some, some fillets to the edges to, you know, clean up your fixture. Um, you know, really easy to do so. Uh, let's bump those up, let's say a quarter of an inch. If you wanted a nice lead in um, on the edges here, that way it, you know, it gives the connecting rod something to slide in on, we can do that. I'm going to select the solid and hit um, Alt E, which is hide on hide, so it just focuses on the block, hides everything else. And we're going to say one distance chamfer. I'm going to select the edge on the left and the edge on the right. Just just put a little chamfer there to you know, make it easier for that to slide into. Go ahead and hit OK. So now this is almost ready for 3D print, but we need to get this back into a mesh form. So let's go ahead and select that solid and then uh, back into reverse. And we're going to go ahead and say import mesh from CAD. And just like that, there's the, there's the mesh. And let's go ahead and right click. And we're going to choose export to file. And go ahead and name it fixture. I've got one here already, so I'm just going to take and rename that. Save. Go ahead and overwrite it. Perfect. Let's turn our turn on our connecting rod so we can see how it all fits. Just like that. If you have any questions, concerns, or want to just chat, give us a call. 888-713-7201. Talk to you soon. Please subscribe. Visit us at verisurf.com and watch more Verisurf videos.